Hello and welcome to The Tippy Show. In this video, I play as Turkey and I reform the Ottoman Empire. My goals for this video are to retake all of my cores, but not just that. I have to see if I can do the achievement, hardly anything Severus. In this achievement, it requires you to take the cities of Tokyo, Rome, Paris, and London, uh, which means that you have to fight the allies, the Axis, and the Japanese. In this video, I give some tips and tricks uh, for how to play the Ottoman Empire, plus just some general advice for playing Hoi 4, but I also make a lot of mistakes in this video. Overall, I just had a lot of fun. I hope you're able to enjoy and relax when watching this video. I hope you had a great day, and please enjoy the video. So our first focus is going to be the Montreux Convention. We are going to do Marines. I'm a big fan of uh, playing with Marines now and electronic mechanical engineering as well as production. We are going to start by building military factories in our highest infrastructure state and then in these four states right here. Uh, because when the Civil War happens, you should be controlling these states. For my equipment, I am a big fan of getting artillery and just making as many of those as we can. Also, we need a lot of convoys, so let's make sure we're producing those. I'm gonna buy some tungsten from British Malaya. For our army, we are going to exercise them. First, we are going to switch them all to this division. We are going to grab our entire air force and lead it. And lastly, we are going to grab our fleet and we're going to put them on naval exercise. That way we can start getting in some naval experience. We are going to go into this international market, go to market options and auto accept purchase request because I don't wanna accept like 500 little orders. We're going to sell all of these Soviet tanks as well as our fighters and bomber. And then we're gonna make it as expensive as possible. This is going to be a very small, but nice boost to our industry. So I don't think we have market access with literally anyone. That's strange. Usually it's by default. Am I going nuts? Usually you don't have to go through and ask every single one, no? But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to also add all of these trains. If I added these convoys, would that be a good idea? Let's add the convoys just to see if anyone else is gonna accept it. And I'm just gonna keep negotiating market access. Oh, I just had a press play. I just had a press play and I would get automatic market access. Man, I am dumb. Uh, we are selling to Siam. What is it that we're selling? We are selling convoys. We are selling our planes to Argentina and Portugal. Also because I don't want these guys to repair. I'm gonna put them on low priority. I'd rather they just keep exercising, getting me that nice, nice little Navy experience. Now we await the response of the Soviet Union. This is going to give us 5% war support. Our next focus is going to be fully integrating the S-Bank. We're not going to offer any compromise. Uh, in historical, the Soviet Union should not back down. The UK will uh, abandon you. That's fine. Some more war support. There you go. You get 120 political power, 15 base stability. Uh, and this, in this uh, demilitarized zone is gone. And for now, we're just going to keep saving our political power. Let's get radio. That reinforce rate and coordination is very nice. Here we have fully integrated the S bank and let's ratify the six arrows. Okay. And for now I'm going to have my ships go into port and I'm just going to gather up a little bit more fuel. Uh, we are also going to start working on a spy agency right now. Uh, spy agencies are very nice. Plus it's going to allow us to get a free hungry, which is always very good. Keep saving your political power. Uh, you want to move on to partial mobilization as early and quickly as you can. Uh, partial mobilization is so much better than civilian economy. Uh, civilian economy gives you expected number of uh, factories to be put on consumer goods, 35%, but you also get a negative 40% fuel gain, uh, less fuel capacity, and military plus civilian factory construction speed is hit drastically. Partial mob not only gets rid of that uh, factory speed construction, but it also really, really uh, helps with that fuel gain per oil. And it even gives you a little bonus to military factory construction speed. Only thing is, you need more than 25, uh, <laughs> more than 25 war support and I only got 21. But that is fine. We will have enough before, uh, before long. And I will be getting this elusive gentleman. Keep saving your political power past that. Uh, let's get fun time sometime pills. I feel like I should improve relations with Germany so that I can get market access with them and sell those tanks. Oh, well, they're by my fighters, that's nice. We have ratified the six arrows. Uh, let's do the Treaty of Sadabad. Uh, this is going to give Afghanistan, Iran, and Iraq a non-aggression pact. Let's give us a little bit more war support. Uh, we are also going to do nationalism. This is going to give us like 
10 war support total, I think, which honestly is not bad. Invisible ink, uh, intelligence gained from operatives and infiltrated assets. It gives you more intelligence. I am a big fan of that, uh, especially for when you're trying to navally invade the UK. It gives you a little bit uh, more naval intelligence. As long as you have your operatives in there, of course. Trash Spies, we will get him first, and gonna have to put him on Hungary. Iron Marine is done being researched. So let's go for interwar artillery. And we now have 27 war support. That is more than enough. Let's get partial mobilization. Lastly, we are going to get this army defense guy. You cannot get him, all right, you cannot get this army reformer because if you get the Ottoman Empire, you'll lose him. You can't get this army drill guy because if you invite the Ottoman loyalists, you'll lose him. Uh, same thing for this guy, you'll lose him. This is the only one that you won't lose. It's unfortunate, army defense sucks, especially when you're going to be a very, very aggressive nation. Um, but only get that guy, unless you're willing to lose. <laughs> unless you're willing to lose a ton of political power and an entire advisor. Interrogation techniques for enemy operative capture chance, plus enemy operative intel extraction rate. Uh, you get intel whenever you capture spies. Sometimes it's useful, sometimes it's not. And by intel, I just mean like, this. The only thing that really matters is naval intel, in my opinion. All three have signed. Beautiful. We are now going to... This, 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 this. Yes, we are now going to do this focus. It's only 35 days. Make sure you save your political power once again. Keep saving it. We are going to do that and... Yeah, just keep working on military factories. Nice. A seducer. If you don't know, seducers are far less likely to get caught than any other spy. Uh, so it's just, well, besides the spy of the nationality of the country, you're infiltrating, of course. But it's just, it, it's something I like doing. Okay, we have three uh, intelligence agencies. Let's go passive defense. Also, I have not looked at Spain. I've been too scared to. So let's see if they are. Okay, so when it looks like this, I'm going to say they're probably not going to switch. The chances of them switching are very, very low right now, uh, but they still have a chance. I prefer seeing them being closer to 60%, uh, especially at this point, but we will see. If they don't switch to Brown Party between November of 36 and really March of 37, uh, November... Yeah, if they don't switch between November of 36 and like March of 37, just start over. They very, very rarely switch after that. It's annoying, but it just makes it just makes this achievement so much easier. Nice. We are now going to privatize the Andalou uh, agency. It's going to give us some popularity for uh, democracy and a little bit of stability. Going to get a naval department now, and then we should. Yeah, we should be good after that. Let's get mechanical computing for more research speed. Okay, so let me re let me explain this real quick. The reason why you want to put your spies on Hungary and to be boosting whatever ideology you are, especially if it's not uh, Brown Party, is because in their focus tree, they have this focus, which for 720 days gives them a very small amount of Brown Party support so that by 1939, uh, they flip. Uh, they flip because they get more than 40% and they do this focus, renounce the Treaty of Trianon. If you prevent them from ever flipping and ever getting more than 40% uh, Brown Party support, so basically wait for this national spirit that they get for 720 days to uh, run out, then they can't do their focus and they can't join Germany, allowing you to get a free uh, puppet with a ton, a ton of aluminum. That that is what I recommend. It makes the game, it, it makes the achievement so much easier. It really does. Um, keep saving that political power. Let's do cooperate with the debt council. Okay, they might, they might flip. Okay, so they're now at sixty one. Nice. We got another spy, and I just wasted it. They had a. Uh, or Raider, that's fine. Uh, our next spy we're going to be putting on Athens. Building a spy web is very nice. Uh, 
You can't see the bonuses right now, but you can just kind of see what they're going for. Uh, for you, you get an invasion defense of 100% once it gets all the way up. And you get a planning speed bonus of 50% once it goes all the way up. Grease gets some side effects. They get max planning factor of negative 100% and a uh, max entrenchment of negative 5. So it's very, very nice. It's very nice. Okay, so this is what you want to see. The CD, the CEDA, uh, this game is going to be very easy for me. If this does not happen to you, just restart. If you see Franco become the leader and this does not say Brown Party and it says uh, non-aligned, just restart. Just restart. The, the, the reason why you need a restart is because you need Spain, right? You need Spain so that one, you can take Gibraltar and lock a massive portion of the British Navy inside the channel. But two, it allows you to navally invade the UK. Uh, you're able to take the Spanish fleet and you're able to get a ton of resources and you get a nice puppet so that when you fight Germany and Italy, it's not a pain. It's it's extra manpower. It's it's an extra country on your side. Yeah, and like I said, you got to take their navy during the peace deal if you have whatever that DLC is. So if they don't flip, just start over. Just start over. You have no idea how important that is. We're going to lift the ban on other political parties. Also, uh, the last focus that we did opened up an economic policy decision. We're going to absorb the TPDA. Uh, we're going to lose stability. It's going to get rid of the TPDA, which is a national spirit right over here. No, it is this thing right here. Uh, it's not the worst, but it's not the best. Um, and then we're going to click pay off our debts. And then for 180 days, uh, we are going to have... For my next advisor, I am going to be getting this decisive battle guy because this naval maneuver guy, unfortunately, will leave once the Ottoman loyalists have been returned. So let's get him. That way we can keep on getting naval experience. Also, it's a very good idea to get military police early on. We are going to have a lot of occupied territories. Really until mid to late game will we be able to core most of everything. I am going to get nationalism again. Having a lot of force support is actually pretty good. And now let's utilize foreign capital. An opposition movement begins to form. The upcoming election will be won for Turkey, so let's lose some stability. Democratic Party is going to be gaining a lot of followers in a moment. Gigantic rally held in support for Mandera's uh, movement. More uh, democracy, less stability. We'll just deal with it. I am also going to buy two factories worth of steel. That way I can keep making guns and artillery and stuff, make them more, more efficient. Uh, okay, so you need to do this one right here. The cooperation could bear fruit in the future. Uh, it's 15% democracy, but in order to get the Ottomans, weirdly enough, you have to have between, like, I think it's, it's you have to have more than 40, more than 50% uh, percent support. I think it's more than 40% support for Democratic, for the uh, Democrat Party to... Uh, come into being okay now we're going to trial them all, all uh trial them all very publicly and give them the harshest sentence as possible we're going to gain base stability five percent plus eight percent not aligned don't worry this is going to even out it's going to give you pretty much the exact amount that you need and with my political power i am going to be opening one of these factories uh this is because we're not going to be building any uh, civilian factories, this is a good way to get some civvies. And lastly, the democratic will of the people shall be known. Uh, it's going to give you some, some popularity of democracy. And by the time you're done, you should have around 52%. Let the best party win. Oof. Our agent has been captured. Uh, we are going to... Wait a moment, uh, because we need Ataturk to get sick. If you if you do this focus, you will get a new leader, who is actually going to be this guy right here. Uh, 
making this assess our future into a different uh, national spirit, which gives you a bunch of, I think it's like negative 5% stability uh, instead of 15% stability. So we're going to wait a moment by going over and learning from the Great War. Well, Ataturk has not gotten sick yet, unfortunate. So let's do this focus. So yeah, you you want it you want it to him to get sick very early. Um, honestly, if he doesn't get sick after you do learning from the Great War, uh, if you haven't played Hoi Four a ton, then just move on. If, just take the stability hit. Uh, I have done this hundreds and hundreds of times. That's not even close to an exaggeration. Turkey is by far my most played game, uh, my most played nation. So I would just I would just keep going if I were you. Let's get radio detection and superior firepower. There's the event. So let's very quickly go here, scroll all the way up, and we are going to retire at Turk. With him retired, we can now assess our future because he is not dead. We still have him, technically. He is now a national spirit instead of our uh, prime minister. And let's get dispersed industry one. Okay, and from this point on, save your political power. We're going to need a fair amount of political power uh, for once we go into our civil war. Let's also hold our first multi-party election now. Nice, so we have the legacy of Ataturk and we have Mustafa Kemal Ataturk as well. Both boosting our stability up the wazoo. Keep making our rifles good. Yeah, I forgot about my operative that got caught. So let's rescue him. Uh, you might be seeing these right now. Just ignore them. Just ignore them. Let's get truck for some better uh, logistics later on. The election day has happened. If you did everything right, if you have your 53 uh, democratic support, I think you just need more than 45. Um, or more than 49, I think it's more than 45, then you will get the Democrat party. Just click all the decisions that I did. Uh, don't do anti-democratic raids. You'll be fine. Yeah, the Democrat party. There we go. This will switch us over to the Republic of Turkey. And we are now democratic. I mean, we were technically democratic before, but we were not aligned democratic. But now we are democratic democratic. Wait for uh, no, it doesn't. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Oh, we only have two trains left to sell. And we're going to do the Hatay issue, which is this tiny state right here, which we do have a core on. There's that event, the death of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. Yeah, we'll start working on guns now. Also, I should have done this MIO but I forgot. Uh, I don't know if I need to explain the MIOs to people, but that's the military industrial organization. Uh, I like to be more focused on making my guns better versus cheap. So better, cheap. Um, yeah, when I make when I make my beginner's guide, there'll be an entire section on MIOs. You will get this event twice, by the way. It's a bug that has existed for the last three or four years. How, how long has it been since uh, Battle for the Prosperous came out? It's been it's been a bug since then. Uh, we will now do peace in the world. Another 35 day focus. France, thank you. We get a tiny little state and we get some political power. Once again, do not touch. Do not touch your political power. You need a lot of it. Uh, also, grab your army and delete them. We don't need them. Uh, actually, we did need them. Okay. Uh, oh my god. I'm actually really dumb. I'm actually really dumb. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a new division. And then just make... 
I don't know, 48 divisions of these artillery guys. Uh, it's just a one width, and we are going to switch them while the AI can't, uh, winning us the Civil War very easily. Um, I am going to keep funding, though. 50 political power is worth it, in my opinion. And with my Navy experience, I'm going to unlock shore parties. My Navy, I feel comfortable exercising once again. Okay, peace in the world is done. Let's do the militant Adami. Uh, it's going to make the Kamalis uh, hostile in the government. A lot of political power, which we're going to keep. And 10% more democracy. We're also going to be making... We'll just do one factory to begin with. I think, honestly, we might be able to make two. I'm going to get this ground support guy. Uh, for some air experience, I would like to make some fighters. Okay. So, if you don't know, and if you hate always clicking these stupid little buttons uh, every like 10 minutes, you can actually queue up what upgrades you want if you click shift and then just left click. So, I'm going to queue those up, queue these up. Focusing again more on uh, soft attack for my infantry equipment. Better breakthrough versus, you know, making them cheaper. And then lastly, that. There you go. Now I don't have to worry about my infantry equipment once. So while I am a massive fan of this, uh, and that is how uh, you do get rid of these, you core these states and get rid of that uh, Kurdish rebellion, we're going to expand our armaments. Uh, this is going to give us two military factories, but also make military factory construction speed plus 15% faster for 180 days. Keep saving your political power. Keep saving, keep saving. Uh, let's get guerrilla training regime. Uh, uh, grueling. Jesus, I can't read. Grueling training regime. It's going to make our Marines cheaper to design. A little bit more org. And save your army experience. You're not going to want to waste it on any of these for now. Uh, let's get into our small airframe. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> this one is so much better for Cass. We are going to use this, make our Cass as good as possible. Uh, for trucks, cheaper is going to be better. And I'm going to focus on mechanized. So let's do a uh, breakthrough and privatize our infrastru infrastructure. It's going to give us a couple things of infrastructure. Uh, and then we're going to purge the officers. Throw the civil war into full swing. The Spanish Civil War is starting to die down. Also, make sure you keep boosting that ideology on Hungary. Do not let them get a 40%. <laughs> if you do, well, they will switch. They will switch ideology. Uh, and then join the Axis as soon as you declare war on them. Not worth it. Especially when you're not ready. Uh, let's do Dispersed Industry too. Okay, purge the officers. Civil War time. Also, these, I don't know if Paradox ever fixed it. Uh, my experience, they never work, so just close it. Don't even look at it. Uh, can we make one more? Let's see. You know what, I think we can if I get all my factories back. June 7th? Probably not. Uh, keep going for your marine. Uh, doctrine. This is going to give you some, weirdly enough, air supremacy effect on uh, enemy divisions, special forces capacity modifier, which is amazing, and naval invasion planning. I wonder if I just don't click it, if I will have enough time to finish this factory. <laughs> Basic small airframe, and same thing as before, let's make this cast as good as possible. Uh, so I was counting if you do all these casts. I didn't, I don't think I even counted that. Wait, 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 wait. So this is 5%. This is 5%, so that's 10%. Then we have 10%, so that's 20%. And then we have 5% here, so that's 25, 30, 35. This does nothing. This does nothing. This does nothing. This does nothing. This gives another 10% or 5%. So that's what, 40%? Jesus. That is not bad. So let's rush there. 
and then I don't know we can just set up the rest two days come on you got it mm, I don't think it finished it didn't finish oh that hurts it didn't finish that's fine I'm over it uh let's modernize the army 30 dive pretty 35 day focus uh, it should be finished by the time uh, we are done doing what we need to do switch over all your divisions to this cavalry and split it into three armies it doesn't matter the size too much but this seems to be kind of what they're hoping for army one is going to take the west of our country army two is going to take the east of our country army three is going to take the northeast of our country oh wait wait, 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 wait. i did make a mistake uh but i might have caught it just in time yes okay so before you switch over your divisions um even though technically i did it's still right now uh, because Paradox made it take like a week for manpower to arrive. Uh, right now, there's only 500 manpower uh, and 36 towed artillery. Uh, my guns have technically left, but the divisions don't have them yet. Uh, it's kind of a cool feature and it helps with mistakes. This is why we saved our political power. Don't do anything yet. We are going to switch one over to war economy. That way uh, we get bonuses to our military factory construction speed. We no longer get hit with that oil penalty. Um, but also, we get more access to our consumer goods. Uh, and then lastly, we want to jump onto extensive conscription for 5% uh, recruitable population. Okay. And then we can press play again. The Ottoman officers. The Ottoman officers offer a chance to restore the Sultanate. Uh, you can either do this and a bunch of your states get resistance up to 85%. Our allegiances to the Republic, to democracy. Uh, Paradox uh, devs being Star Wars fans, I guess. Now we're going to do our Old Glory Awaits Reclamation. We are now the provisional state of Anatolia. Our divisions are heading over. So once you see them like fully de-org like that and then re-org. Okay, just like that. That's what you want to see. Move quickly before they can train new units. It's me, Versa. Nice and quickly. Rush these states, rush these states, rush these states. Oh, they have a mountain here division? What? Uh, okay. There we go. Uh, you want the Civil War to end very quickly. Should only take 35 days. It should not take more than that. I finished it in 14 days. Uh, with Paradox changing how long it takes for equipment to arrive. Um, you can't do it in 14 days now, but it should not take more than 35. Pivot to the past. And Blowtorch and uh, Corkscrew. It's going to give us some attack bonuses for our uh, special forces, but it's going to make the uh, Pioneer Division, Pioneer Support Company, slightly better. Also, this is why we saved up all of our army experience. We're going to upgrade our marine template. Make them pretty decent. These guys are pretty good. And we are going to... We can have four of them. Okay. So we are going to switch half of these over to those Marines. And then the other half will just be switched over to a normal uh, brigade. Same thing with these guys. Plant them here, here. For the 15 men, they will be placed right there. Perfect. Okay. And then the last thing I want to do is to put support equipment on that. Or, uh, Put support artillery, 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 artillery. And let's put some pioneers on them as well. And then these guys are going to be more of my shock. Those four, I'm actually going to be switching over to that shock uh, template. And these guys, I'll be switching over to that shock template as well. These 15 are going to be this basic, I think it's a 12 width. Yeah, 12 width infantry. Everyone exercises. Uh, you will not make it across this if you don't exercise because look at that, negative 25% modifier. Exercise until you get up to like whatever the number is. <laughs> uh, 
Also, let's get off free trade. We're going to go on to limited exports. The bonuses to construction were nice, but we, we need our metals back. We need we need our factories. So let's 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 be smart. Buy from the Kingdom of Hungary. Wow. I was switching from democratic to non-aligned, making sure, and he got caught immediately. That is something else. It's gonna take 200 guns, it's not gonna take long. Also for these guys, I want to give them a little other emblem just so I know all my divisions apart. Yeah, we need a pretty, pretty good amount of guns. Let's go for engines one. Uh, we're also going to modernize our tactics and overhaul our training methods. Going to fund another factory, might as well. Okay. Hey, don't get caught again, okay? <laughs> Boost that non-aligned. Keep them from flipping. I'm going to push everything into fighter research for now. Wait. No! 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 Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I don't know why the weaponry... Oh my god, I thought I lost that MIO. Uh, I thought I lost that MIO during the Civil War, but no, it's fine. Uh, we're also going to be doing this, but this is going to be focused more on uh, fighters. Yeah, okay. So we will use a fighter MIO then. Oh man, I thought I lost. I thought I lost that during the uh, Civil War. I'm going to get this financial expert. Our people only expect 15% on uh, consumer goods. That's nice. Purge the Kamalists. Also, very quickly, flying formation. Flying formation. Uh, that way we can eventually get continuous strike for more air support mission efficiency. And bombs. Uh, put that on that cast. Make our cast as good as possible. I'm not going to upgrade because right now we're getting complete efficiency uh, and I need more artillery than I need really anything else. Wow. Hungary is murdering my spies. You know what? I'm not going to be putting another spy on Hungary. They're at 37.12. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Right here. This is going to end in like three months. They're not going to flip. They're not going to flip. So I am going to put a new spy onto the kingdom of Greece so that I can get that nice uh, boost in intel. So I'm going to be putting these spies and delete him first of all uh, and see if I can get another pseudo surf. But I'm going to put that spy onto Yugoslavia and start building an intel network on them. <laughs> Grab all our fleet back and put them uh, all in the same area. Okay, and we'll just let them get repaired. Hey, let's restore the Devon. Uh, it's going to give us a bunch of political power. It's going to give us, I believe he is going to be our new prime minister and some stability. Now let's do heavy machine guns. Uh, and I'm going to be moving everything onto civilian oversight except for Kurdistan, which is going to have a military governor. Honestly, I'm going to do martial law because they are kind of rising it up and being a little angry at me. Okay, rebuilding our nation. The most useless focus in the entire Turkish focus tree. I guess there's a few more useless focuses. Okay, expeditionary task force. And then we don't have to worry. Uh, naval invasion capacity plus 10. That's nice. Uh, let's also probably start thinking about making tanks. You got two designers. You got... That one, then you got an infantry one. Uh, this one is nice. Yeah, I'm gonna focus on speed. So let's assign some field marshals. This guy's going to be our new main field marshal. Uh, and then we will have him be our general. I don't want anyone with trashy traits, so I'm going to promote a new guy. Promote him. Ah, nice, no traits. He is going to be our new marine guy. And then this guy can just be, I don't know, him. The return of the Sultan. Okay, so we will do this. And since we are focusing on our fighters. Yeah, so we will go down the middle. Also, I'm going to be designing my cast and 
the bombers now to engines. Can't do cast yet because it doesn't have cast weapons. Small bomb bay. Small bomb bay. There we go. Cast designer. Okay, and then let's design another. Engine one. We'll have the light aircraft designer. We'll go with two heavy machine guns. And yeah, it's unfortunate that they just have the default light aircraft. And with their political power, I'm going to get bold attack. Bold attack is amazing. Uh, it gives a 50% chance of plus one attack on level up. And in my experience, it happens pretty often. Uh, professional army corps. And gotta leave it at that for now. The Sultan has returned. Uh, also, we have a new prime minister. Oh, that's the prime minister from that one focus. Uh, yeah, he's pretty good. Just hits our war support a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, let's retake Greece, basically. This is where it's going to get very, very easy. Contrary to popular belief. Also, we need trains. This is the final reason that we have been saving our political power. We want to alter the royal laws of succession. If you want the Sultina, you gotta do this. Eh, I'm not gonna authorize any more factories, honestly. And the final thing I'm going to be doing is, well, one, getting rid of that, but I am going to go into here and mobile battalions make a one div cavalry. We're going to make roughly 10 of these guys. Okay, 1940 medium tank chassis. And for my armor technology, I am going to go with speed, armor, and then just everything else. And press the Austro-Hungarian claim. The final thing you need to know is as soon as this hits 40, 50 world tension. So once Poland uh, and World War II, once World War II kicks off, you need to justify a war goal on Hungary. It has to be, it has to be quick. It has to be quick. Everything needs to be quick. We are going to declare war on Greece. Actually going to grab this spy and boost to Hungary, improving relations as well, because we need to be able to make a faction with them at some point. Uh, with the war declared, I'm gonna move into Alexandropolis. Usually they have a unit here, uh, so you probably won't get this lucky. If you do, just march in. If you don't, that's fine. You don't necessarily need it. Uh, use these men to pin that division and then these ones are going to move into Samos nice and quickly. I actually think I can turn these four into Marines. I actually think I can turn these three into Marines. I actually think I can turn these two into Marines. I don't know why only one went, but that's fine. And now we're going to just encircle every single unit that lands here. Don't land, just march, stop, just H, wait, division went in, march in, march in. Uh, just do that until they have like 120 casualties and you pretty much got it in the bag. Uh, just keep making military factories. You don't need civilian. Uh, you've got a lot of resources. Um, you started out with a good amount of civilian factories, so just don't, just don't. Don't waste your time. Uh, these 10 cavalry divisions. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I got it. Okay. These 10 divisions we are going to use to navally invade all throughout Greece from Izmir to just every single state. Uh, and if you individually click each unit, click the state, not the line, uh, you can set up a naval invasion that one happens much quicker. Now it's going to be only seven days instead of 70 for every unit. But two, you can have a lot more control over where you want to land. And my navy, I am going to... Okay, disperse into three. Those units will arrive. We will keep wiping out the Greeks as they uh, land. Launch that naval invasion. Uh, take that state. Once it starts taking the Greeks a while to start getting their divisions uh, into place, then you kind of know you have them beat. Then at that point, it's just a matter of winning. I don't know. It's just a matter of marching and grabbing their victory points. Nice. Uh, annex everything and take their fleet. 
Not bad, not bad. This will make a fine addition to my collection for sure. Next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be going after Yugoslavia. So let's move our fleet here, put it on naval invasion support. We are going to find our 10 Marines. I guess Bulgaria is actually next. So let's not be doing that and let's do be putting them there. Okay, we have pressed the Austro-Hungarian claim. Now we will align Bulgaria. Uh, we are also going to justify a war goal on Hungary. 135 days, okay. Now we just really need Bulgaria to say no. If they say yes, it sucks. They're gonna leech a ton of territory from you. Uh, there's nothing you can do. Basically, they're going to steal this state, gonna steal this state, they're gonna steal this state, they're gonna steal this state, they're gonna steal this state. Why? Because they have this. And as soon as you join the faction with Germany, so will Bulgaria, yeah, it just really sucks. So we're going to align Bulgaria and pray to God that they uh, say no. None of these should be guaranteed by the allies. In my experience, the allies don't really start guaranteeing if uh, you, you justify wars when uh, World War II kicks off. So we're going to use a very small window of opportunity to steal the Balkans. Okay, we're also going to create a faction with Romania, stealing them from Germany. This is going to be called the the Auto Bros. Uh, also, fun fact, it removes the guarantee on Romania. Uh, if you go and join a faction, the guarantee that you had previously will be removed. Uh, same thing happens to AI nations. If you invite them to your faction and they were previously guaranteed by anyone, that guarantee will go away. This is a perfect strategy to be able to get a free Romania. Also, it... I don't know exactly what it does, but it prevents Romania from joining the Axis early. Uh, every single time I do this, Romania will not join the Axis. If I don't invite Romania, they join the moment World War II kicks off or just before. It's a little weird. Um, so just make sure you invite them. Um, and they're gonna help us beat up Yugoslavia, which is, you know, always appreciated. Let's get this guy. And we are going to put him on Italy and her. We are going to put on Germany. For Italy, I am going to boost relations as well as Germany. Uh, I want to get a couple non-aggression packs. Also, I am going to duplicate this. And I'm going to be switching everything over to uh, Mountaineers. We are going to need these guys if we are going to beat the Kingdom of uh, Romania. And they are going to have Mountaineers. Come on, say no, say no, say no. That is unfortunate, but it is what it is. We are now going to expand the uh, Sadabad Pact. And then we are going to reposition all of our forces as very quickly as possible because this is when things uh, start moving really quickly. This army is going to be used entirely to invade the shores. There we go. And for our other units, our elite infantry, we will be placing on these two tiles in Romania. Uh, the rest of our units are going to be stretched across the border and I'm also going to request forces from uh, my puppet. Uh, and these guys, we're just going to spread across the line. Uh, shift click to make one line. If you want to spread your units into separate armies, uh, then just normal click. And let's get this continuous strike. Let's also deploy our fighters and bombers. Put them on. My navy is in position. My army is getting into uh, position. I need you just to take Belgrade and you're not going to be assaulting until much, much later. Uh, and let's quickly get a non-aggression pact and a non-aggression pact. Lastly, let's move a spy into the Soviet Union. Also, improve relations. With our political power, uh, do whatever you want at this point. Uh, if you need war support, then do this. If you need manpower, then do this. If you need lots of war support, then do this. I personally am going to be doing these two just because it gives 10% uh, research speed and improved worker conditions to uh, fix that 
that uh, that uh, that uh, hit to stability that I just had. But let's check on our army. Love that. Okay, we are good. We are good. Everyone looks good. Let's declare war. We're going to force attack. Call to arms. Call to arms. And our naval invasion is also off. Yeah, so the goal is going to be to hit Belgrade pretty quickly. Nope, we need you to hit here. While our navy secures the coastline of uh, Yugoslavia. Uh, hopefully this does not take too long because I need to go after Hungary and then <laughs> Romania. Well, they are holding on to uh, Belgrade really tightly. Okay, they lost it. And if I can cut here, that is a beautiful encirclement. If I can do that, nice. Wipe them out. Do wonder if I can take that state. Because I do believe I'm going to need to take that city. Okay. Let's move these guys down here. I need you to hit so hard and take that, that position, man. Damn. Uh, this is a major problem. So let's use what we have to solve this major problem. We will push in aggressively. God, just let me take that state. Nice, okay, it is ours. Uh, first thing we are going to do is take the states that uh, Romania is most likely to try to contest us with. And once they realize that it's not worth it, then we'll just take everything else. Just like that. This is where it's going to get dicey. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be kicking Romania from our faction. This is going to give us a non-aggression pact with them uh, until March 18th of 1940, which means that we have barely any time to, as quickly as we can, grab our... These guys will put there. Our shock infantry we are going to put here. And the rest of our battalions... We're going to put on the border just like that. Okay, let's do the Damascus Dicket. Uh, it'd be great if they said yes. It'd be great if they said no. It's a win-win. And as soon as our forces get up there, we can declare war. We are going to declare war on Hungary. Uh, We're going to march straight to Budapest. And we're going to hit Pex pretty aggressively. Uh, in the case of our heavy troops, though, we will be... Okay, that's seven. I can switch over to Mountaineers. <laughs> How the hell do they have so many light tanks? Dude, they're chewing through me like nothing. Oh, I am getting pretty bad debuffs due to low supply. You know what? I... Uh, yeah, I should not be having <laughs> these issues, man. Spies, we will be putting onto Romania. And then we are going to justify a war goal on Spain. Ugh, that last stand is annoying. So don't waste don't don't waste your time attacking. I've genuinely never seen them with tanks. That's actually kind of hilarious. Just gonna launch everything and put them on. Maybe they'll give me a little more supremacy. Back again. Last standing again. Oh, I just realized that my spy uh, had been caught in the Soviet Union. That's so cool. Ah, uh, okay. Hungry. Stop. I'm not going to win this. I'm not going to be able to do this because of Hungary here. Welcome them back to the Empire. Okay. Now let's do the Pan-National Association of Almas. It's going to make Iraq, Iran, and Afghanistan become your puppet. Uh, we can also scroll down 
and gain cores on all this. Okay, I'm force attacking. I don't care, man. I don't even care. Just be so aggressive and push. Okay, those stupid Romanian tanks are now encircled. Take Budapest. Pex is the next thing that we need to uh, take. And... I don't know if I need Doberine. There we go. Man, that was a tough, tough battle. Uh, Puppet. And stack on factory rights as well as resource rights. Tough, tough fight, man. Tough, tough fight. Now we have the Kingdom of, of Romania. Non-aggression pact real quick. Bring over our spy and put them on Romania. So my really, really good fighters, I'm going to be putting right here. And we just need a hit here. The rest of my army is going to be spread out along the whole border. Chop chop, nice and quick. Apparently they didn't get the memo. Yeah, they will be spread across the line and let's start making some trucks. Declare war and hope that they don't join the Axis. Cause otherwise we're screwed. Yeah, they're gonna hit hard at first. <laughs> that's fine though, because that's just gonna give us an opportunity to uh, hit them back at exactly where we need. Yep, nice and aggressive. Push across the waterways. I'm gonna slow my game down because I'm going to be microing this uh, and you need to also. It's a great opportunity to learn how to micro. We don't have a lot of manpower, uh, so we need to be a little smarter with it. Pin and pin, keep pushing up, keep pushing up, I kind of want half, you know what, yeah, 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 let's see if we can make a nice encirclement here. Uh, half of you continue up, and you two plus you, hit there, okay, okay, nice little encirclement. Oh no, I cannot let that tank go over there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to force attack. I would like to take that airport. Do I actually want to assist from the side? Let's call Hungary in. That way maybe we can... Sneak. And take that state. And if we can do that, then they will capitulate. Uh, Pan Association of Almos is done. Let's do the Reclaim the Fallen Empire. This is going to uh, give us decisions to court all of these states that we've been taking. Dude, their lack of org here. <laughs> oh man, no, I'm loving it. I am loving it. Yeah, if I can take that state, I will actually cry tears of joy. And you two there. Mm. That is what we in the entertainment industry refer to as a bummer. Let's see if I can't sneak away my mountaineers and place them here with all my trucks. Uh, my navy should have stopped moving a while ago. How much time do I have before this war goal goes away? July 17th. Okay. No, I should have them capped before them. They're just being a little bit stubborn. Okay. Mountaineers. I need you just to push onto this state. It we should be able to break them. Yeah. We should. Just gonna keep spamming this force attack. Uh also can I 
Yeah. So we're going to diversify the elite forces and make our mountaineers better. Mountaineers, we need you. Come on, man. Okay. How are we looking? 99? No. Need that state. Can I take this state? Okay, there we go. Uh, annex the entirety of everything and take their fleet. Pause the game really quick, really fast. Uh, when does this end? May 2nd. So we have time. So let's check out our new ships. Not that many. Okay, let's breathe for a moment. I'm gonna switch these guys all over to uh, <laughs> Mountaineers. Uh, over to uh, Marines. Wow. And going to set up a naval invasion order onto Valencia. Naval invasion order is set up. I'm going to let them reorg up. And then I'm going to launch. I got the uh, attention span of a fly. Plus, you really got to beat the allies before really july of 1941 otherwise the big usa joins and yeah they're scary they're scary okay force attack and assist in taking the port an agent has been captured okay the port has been secured so let's do a little bit of a little bit of trolling okay the army has arrived exactly what we needed to happen we are having a little issues breaking out but that's fine the issues will uh, fix themselves really in a moment. We have reclaimed the fallen empire. Let's refine our strategies for a bunch of uh, doctrine bonuses. And let's go in and puppet, no, go in and core uh, Bosnia, as well as almost the entirety of uh, Romania. This is going to give us a good chunk of manpower back as well as a ton of factories, which is good because I'm going to need to make a ton of fighters and uh, CAS. Just gonna overpay because we're about to get a whole lot more in. How the hell am I getting beat by the Spanish? Let's take a moment, put them bash into us, reorg, do what we need to do. Oh, we're attritioning because it's very hot in Spain and because bad supply. Okay, there we go. Now we're making real progress. Good God. Very nice, very cool. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the state here and no. I'm going to be annexing the state here. I'm going to be annexing this, this, taking all of their African holdings and the Mediterranean islands. It's a very good distraction for the UK. I will be puppeting the rest, taking their fleet and taking resource rights as well as uh, factory rights. And pause the game quickly because now we have to reposition everything and prepare for a uh, invasion of the UK. And then we will be moving the rest of our forces and just putting them there. Uh, these guys we are going to put here and see if I can't push there. These guys we will spread right here. Uh, I'm going to cut this in half and do naval invasion support. Okay. Uh, also, the Soviet Union no longer has a war goal to take these states. So... That's cool to not have to worry and deal with that. Keep making our Mountaineers better. Don't know why I said better that way. Okay. Italy has changed a non-aggression pact with us. Uh, they don't have any war goals, so we're going to declare war on the UK. Going to march everyone into here, force attack. Going to march everyone into here. Force attack. Oh, and the naval invasion order is off. Join the Axis 
real quick. Uh, take it for the glory of Italy. Uh, how have we not taken Gibraltar? <laughs> so we're going to use our good infantry to push right there. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Sign the front line. March up. Uh, fuck me. That's two whole armies. Uh, yeah, if Germany and Italy give you two full armies, take it. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, I need more generals as well. <laughs> no command power, though. Uh, okay. Love to see it. Um, yeah, keep making guns. As for you three, take Plymouth. Uh, you wrap around. As for our fleet, we are going to sit back and relax because I'm going to need them to fight against uh, Japan. The Soviets canceled their non-aggression pact with us. That's fine. It's not like they can declare war on us because they got. Oh, they don't have a non-aggression pact anymore. Well, hopefully they don't uh, justify a war goal on us. Wait, 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 wait. Paradox fixed it. Wait, they didn't take the states and I'm allied with Germany. Now that is what I like to see. Uh, annex this horrible, horrible country down as quickly as we can. Build everything we need to in there. I do not care, just just annex them down. <laughs> uh, so if you're not able to get um, supremacy in these two states, you can always move your army up here and if we invade from here, or you can try your luck across the uh, canal. The uh, channel, sorry, it's not a canal. But in my experience, this is pretty reliable as well. Uh, just test around, find which one works for you, you know? Yeah, let's mechanize our army. The United Kingdom has capitulated, so what we are going to be doing is taking the states that we can core, which is going to be the Middle East, uh, including Egypt all the way down here. It's going to be these states here. I'm going to take that because I'm funny like that. So we have our own British puppet. Uh, they have a chunk of the uh, British Navy. Same thing with the French. Uh, I did end up also puppeting... Oh my god, there's still a British Raj, India, and India. So... Okay, time to beat their allies again, I guess. Oh, we can also make a ton of cores. Let's see what we're looking at here. By a ton, I guess it's two. Oh yeah, because we need all B Bulgarian and all uh, Albanian, but we don't own that. We don't own Albania. Uh, we need Rodi, which is unfortunately right here, owned by the Italians. Uh, we can core the entirety of the Levant, minus uh, this portion of Iraq. If you consider that the Levant, I do. Uh, we need all of Arabia, and we need Lower Arabia. We can core Egypt. We need Tripolina, which is the Italian zone, and we need uh, the French states, which you guessed it, the French own. Did I forget to, oh my God. I keep forgetting to take resource rates. I do it every game. That's fine. We'll just deal with it. Also, I don't actually want you guys protecting the uh, Germans front line. I just want you protecting my own with uh, the Soviets. Also going to do this so that we can destroy the IMRO. Mechanizing our army is done. And... Okay, let's see if we can't make our Air Force better. Keep working on annexing that Bulgarian puppet. We can get that final uh, doctrine for our mountaineers. 
Oh no. I just realized something. Something really bad. Yeah, I gotta set this naval invasion. So, if Japan declares war on... Let me see here. Germans, me. Oh, okay. So they can't join the allies. Nice. Hey, but the US state still may uh, send them a uh, alliance offer. So let's justify on, keep justifying on India, set our naval invasion, and then hopefully uh, curb stomp India into the ground. I hate this game. I hate this game. It expires on the 21st of, no of October, but the non-aggression pact, it's on the 20th of November. Uh, let's justify a war goal on uh, Portugal then. Mm. I guess this will be the job of our new Mountaineer divisions. Uh, Yeah, they can't have it. We're both in the Axis. What are, what are they going to do? Cry about it? Also, look at that. We're at 30% ground attack for our cats. Oh, that is deadly good. Also going to be using the uh, Spanish army. Uh, it's going to take a moment, so let's exercise. Uh, yeah, improved artillery and infantry equipment, too. It's time to upgrade. Okay. Nice. Let's send in Natasha. Uh... It's going to give us a whole lot of army experience. Uh, that's your your problem, Danatuva. <laughs> Let's also see if we have any airplanes that can help assist in this uh, upcoming war. Oh yeah, we have a ton. We have a ton. All on. And, okay. Should make the assault a little easier. No, I need a save. I need a save. Declare war. Nice. Uh, puppet. Resource rights. Factory rights. Cannot take the Portuguese Navy. That's totally okay. Next, we're going after Saudi Arabia. Uh, and to do that, I am going to... Honestly, I'm just going to keep those guys there for a minute. And I'm going to put these guys here to storm down nice and quick. Uh, these guys will go here. And then I am going to split this. Put those there. Nope, just keep saving it. I need, I need to start making tanks. Oh, we can annex. Bulgaria is dead. Delete these. Delete these. Delete these. Okay, let's keep making military factories. Especially in our core states. We're going to need a lot if we're going to beat the Germans. Uh, but for now, I am going to actually work on annexing... Uh, Iraq. Okay, that's my tank. Also, actually, I hate this model. It's giant. Paradox, fix it. Please. The United States of America is guaranteed Switzerland, who Italy is justifying on. And they decided not to just uh, guarantee Saudi Arabia, which I love. Thank you. Let's declare war. Nice. That's what you want to see. So they apparently had a navy? Not a bad design. It's cheap. So cute, Saudi. So cute. Uh, we still do got to kill Yemen and Oman. Yeah, so we're going to coral that. And it, that button gives us a war goal on Oman. Unfortunately, not one on Yemen. Uh, so what we're going to do now is send guess these guys since they're the closest nice annex yeah we can afford that that is an amazing deal oh nice and our mountaineers have arrived okay hopefully they don't join 
uh, or call the USAN. Okay, force. Oh, <laughs> well, that worked. Yeah, so let's give India to India. Okay, no, we did everything we needed. I don't know, one army on Yemen because we're going to eventually go after them. Yes. I. Uh, Oh no, they just joined the Axis, so I'm not going to be able to take those lands. I was too slow. Ah, oh, man, just fine. Man, oh. just fine. Man, ugh, ugh. No, but, uh, I messed up there. I should have gotten Vichy. I messed up big time there. Okay, well, we'll take Yemen, and then core in this little area, and declare war. It should not be difficult for our mountaineers to break through. Yemen has capitulated, so we're just going to annex. And they had a little fleet. Aw. Oh, we can also design a couple more fighters. Engine 3. Uh, heavy weapons. Weapons. Heavy weapons. See, that's pretty good. Max speed plus 15%, agility plus 15, range plus 5, uh, air attack plus 5. Yeah, not bad. Tragedy has befallen the royal Ottoman family. Long live the new Sultina. Uh, our last leader died, and we have a new leader. This nice little lady right here. Uh, yeah, she's pretty good. I'm starting to think it was actually a prank and the Soviets aren't coming after me. I have no desire to fight the Soviets. I, in, in fact... I would like to use the Soviets to fight Germany. Also, we can annex Iraq, giving us, no, I would rather die, uh, giving us all these nine units here, which I'm going to delete. We can core it, giving us some more factories, but more importantly, a whole lot of fuel. This and you don't know let's definitely do annex Iran okay so we're gonna build a bunch of dockyards along our coastline we're gonna use those dockyards to make a bunch of uh, submarines we're gonna use those submarines to uh, convoy raid the Axis into oblivion uh, we are making an entire full army of just these dudes that are meant to hold uh, uh, this is what the division looks like it's nothing special, man. It's nothing special, but it, they're meant to hold. They're really meant to hold. Uh, he's going to be in charge of it. And I'm going to choose my worst uh, assaulters for this. German losses are starting to rack up, but nowhere near the... Uh... Did Japan just declare war on me? Um. Okay, we're going to get a non-aggression pact with the United States. Uh, I am going to offer docking rights with the United States. So I got naval supremacy. Naval invasion is off. Uh, I'm only launching 11 divisions. They have almost no equipment. <laughs> they have low org. I am a goddamn genius. <laughs> oh my god. I'm basically getting caught by every single... Japanese submarine. Can I go on convoy escort? Well, at least four are gonna land. Oh, uh, what the? How? Oh, I need to take this port. You know what? You. Here. You. Here. Nice. Uh, okay, so we now own Tokyo. I mean, I still need to uh, annex them and everything, but not bad at all. Not bad. Uh, time to turn our attention onto the Germans. 
Uh, I'm gonna annex Iran, and I might even start working on annexing Iraq, uh, Afghanistan. I can't puppet them, right? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna leave the Axis. I guess we're really the only ones that said no. So, you know what we need to do? Create our own faction. You know what our faction is going to be named? The Greater Ottoman Empire. There we go. And let's also make sure that our army is in position. Okay. So here's what we're looking like uh, before the war starts. Let me show you my template. This is my garrison. Uh, Marines. This is my hold the line, it's called shock, but that's because I never renamed it. I uh, will not be pushing with these guys. My mountaineers. Tank. Okay, these forces are going to take Zara as quickly as they can. Uh, my mountaineers are going to push across the Alps and whatever mountains these are. Uh, these men will push in and take Albania and then join the naval invasion, which is right here. Uh, which will be launching into the middle of Italy to split them in half. Uh, I have units prepared to take uh, roads from the Italians. I have a fallback line here in uh, Egypt so that I can protect with supply and here in Egypt as well for the same reason. I am not garrisoning any of my uh, land here because it's just not worth it. Uh, they can they can attack all they want there. Um, Oh yeah, I have a spy doing relations on the United States, but they really hate my guts. So chances are they will not be joining. Um, okay, so I decided to just do voiceover for the ending. I've been doing it for most of my videos. Uh, so I'm kind of getting comfy doing that. But also because there was just a ton of footage and uh, this video is already long. So I don't want it to be too long. Um, so I'm gonna summarize in the next for the next 10 minutes or so. So I declared war on Germany. I very quickly naval invaded Italy, cut them in half just as I planned. They didn't have a lot of troops here. Most of their troops were probably busy fighting, I swear. I rushed as fast as I could to the ports inside Albania. I knew the only chance of me beating them, beating the uh, Germans there was if I got that port. I encircled as many Italian divisions as they started swarming in, which gave me the opportunity to wipe them out. With the German army surrounded in Albania, I was able to start reinforcing the north of the country, which had experienced a massive breakout of German troops. Very quickly, I destroyed Italy. I had the entire country occupied. I barely even gave them time to have a civil war. I cored all the lands that I could, which was going to be uh, Albania and Greece, as well as uh, Bulgaria, and then the little islands. I fixed my uh, line as best as I could. At this point, I was just hoping that I could throw as, as much manpower just to stop the German assault. Eventually, I was able to use my armor to make a giant pocket. I surrounded probably two German army units. And with this success, I was able to move my submarines out into the uh, uh, Atlantic to start navally invading the German supply lines so that they would run out of uh, rubber and fuel so that I could, you know, contest the skies. This did pretty good. I had my battleships protecting the Mediterranean so I couldn't be navally invaded. I, I felt safe. Closing up the pocket felt really good. Uh, that was a giant portion of the German army. Uh, before long, Denmark rose up, joined the uh, common turn, and charged straight into Germany. So I asked for uh, military access and I decided to, to bring my tanks on over there because I am not breaking through the mountains. Uh, but the plains of, of Germany make for perfect territory to, uh, to crush the German infantry. I had to eventually join the Soviet Union because the lines kept getting messed up. Uh, it was very annoying. The Germans made a giant comeback because of this. So I had to use my tanks the best I could to, uh, to hold the line to just wait for Soviet reinforcements. So I decided to rush over my mountaineers. Uh, I was not pushing through the mountains. I was not going to be able to push. The Germans had a giant army there. So I brought my mountaineers over into the uh, Danish line. And with the help of my tanks, I, I rushed the Germans. 
and uh, either the Americans or Soviets bombed Warsaw. Uh, rip to everyone who lives in Warsaw. Yeah, no, my, my tanks and my mountaineers just marched right across Germany proper. It did not take long for them to capitulate at this point. Uh, that Danish rebellion really made this campaign in quickly, much quicker than it would have. I decided not really to go after too much land. Uh, I decided just to go for what I needed in the achievement, as well as the land that I thought uh, I would need for resources, um, or just land that I could core. And that's the world. I took London, I took Paris, uh, I have taken Rome, and I just need a puppet annex, my puppet here in Japan, to take Tokyo. And that is the achievement, hardly anything separate. And I was able to do it even without taking uh, Vichy France. Yeah, this was a very fun campaign. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you want to follow the same guide that I used, once again, it'll be on the screen here. Y yeah, just make sure you follow it a little bit better with the small things that I changed in this guide, uh, in this video. Partial mobilization is really nice. Uh, definitely get that early. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please feel free to subscribe or like or do whatever you want. Yeah, please have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching.